All right, we're gonna do a test recording for Gateway to Can or whatever. All right, and play game next. Okay, I'm gonna be placing my troops here. Mortar here, got a tank. Sometimes troops hiding behind this whole thing over here. Make sure you get all your troops. So they're way back here, you gotta move them for it. So this territory, this uh, area that's, that's all lit up is um, my territory. Uh, American territory here. Um, there might be guys hiding up here that I can't ever see, but whatever. Um, so this is the Allies territory here. And then I could put these guys probably even as far as inside this building here. Get them in buildings. The mortar should stay back here, though, I believe. Probably... Okay, there we go, this is another mortar, put them back here, another mortar, put them here. so mortars are weapons that fire up in the air and come down, the, the, the shell comes down and but they fire long distance and it's like rains fire from above, you know, basically. Um, but I have a lot of mortars here, so I get a lot of bombardment. Mortars are good at taking out tanks if they if they hit. Uh, this is a Brennan section, which is a machine gun. Bur Brennans, I think, think are strong, machine powerful machine guns. Uh, Piat, I don't even remember that. I think this is an anti tank gun. So they have an assortment of weapons and stuff. They don't just have Brennans, but I mean. The Brennan is kind of like the main gun that the unit is associated with. Like maybe one guy has a, I don't know, whatever. And this is HQ, which I, I don't know really the, 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 what it is about the HQ thing. Anyway, here's a tank. Maybe HQ has more like, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the strategic importance of keeping HQ alive in this game is. We got some Brennan section here. I could get these guys in here too. Um, maybe these guys will run toward this Brennan section. Will run towards this is a mortar Piat. This is anti tank. Piat is like a bazooka thing, I think. Um, all right. What's this Brennan section? We'll get these guys in this building. Um, Oh, here's a rifle section. There we go. Get these guys in that building. This is a two-story building. That's what the number two is right there on that. It's a two-story building, which means they see further. When they're in that building, you have a farther vantage point. You can see further. Um, so you'll see when I start the game, the whole map will light up, and and it'll look like I can see forever, you know, if you're used to other real-time strategy games. But, um, but basically, like, the unit, the enemy units will only appear when your units are spotting them. So otherwise, you won't see the enemy units at all. Um, so yeah, this game's pretty good. Uh, highly simulation-y uh, real-time strategy game. It's the whole emphasis of this game for the many years it's been out now. It's probably it's 20, 20 years now that this series has existed. Twenty, Maybe 20 plus years, I can't remember. But um, I think it was 1998 when the second game came out it might have been 1998 when the first game came out also i'm not sure but it's basically it was around 98 i feel that these this series started and um and it was meant to be just a highly realistic uh world war ii simulation real-time strategy game um and one of the key things is there are units that are all basic are real units that were in world war ii um you command units you don't command individual men you command like uh, whatever these called it's these sections of guys um 
and you have them all listed here I can I can select them all here on the left here or I can just go click them and then um, when we get started you kind of see how the gameplay goes it's much more slow paced um, and you don't really but you'll you'll see so um, and it's all about capturing these points so like here's an uncaptured point the cross henge these are strategically important points this is the church there's another point over here this one's four stories tall so if you get in the church you have a very good vantage point maybe a good place to put like a sniper if you have a sniper um, I do not have a sniper though um, and yeah it's all based on actual I don't know if the terrain is highly realistic like as far as like accurate to the time period um, but it's it's basically uh, the type of terrain that people were dealing with um, in these areas and it's all based on it's at least based on or inspired by uh, real locations um, if not exactly like those real locations um, so anyway um, okay and also the way you win and lose a battle is by holding territory but the the actual like thing that determines uh the win or loss of the battle is this thing up here which is a morale meter so it's about the morale of your men and that's one of the things that was a big deal when this game came out was revolutionary not revolutionary but just i wouldn't call it revolutionary because it didn't exactly influence a whole lot of other games it just it seemed to only stick with this game and no other game seemed to want to use this system but basically each one of your men has its has his individual morale so it's like um, and you'll see that each that like individual guys can get killed and then the so they're all individuals they in the first game they even had names like all the soldiers even had names you could you could click on a unit and see all the names of the guys and see their morale status and stuff I don't know if you can still do that in this new version um, but you, you might not be able to see the individual guys but but each unit at least has each guy has his own morale and sometimes guys if the morale is low in a section like a, a guy or two will flee um, and you'll see them running back or something or um, uh, and it, it's 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 the the winner loss of the battle depends on the morale of the troops basically um, and and holding territory I'm not sure exactly what all the different things are but anyway this is their territory so this is where they're theoretically starting is this dark area over here and this is no man's land here neither of one of us have this 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 gray area so um all right let's uh let's begin so can't see anyone anyway i have to come up with a plan i probably should have come up with a plan of what spots to grab here so because we got to start moving fast so i'll take my tank and choose to move fast down here also take this crocodile tank and move him fast up here to this crossroads if i can do that please move fast don't sneak i don't want to sneak i want to move fast move fast there we go so you have different types of movement you can sneak you can move regular you can move fast um, I'm gonna have these guys this Brennan's actually you know what three inch mortar three inch mortar three inch mortar my mortars better be ready to fucking go okay so this Bren section over here they're gonna move to this area here and then I have to also listen so I'm gonna turn up the volume a little bit although I don't want that to get picked up by the mic so so yeah now i'm listening to the game which uh they the the audio actually the audio cues are very good they're they highly realistic sounding and uh you can actually uh, use them to tell kind of what's happening some of the noise some of the music is just uh, or music some of the sound effects are just um, background noise and for atmosphere but some are actually like like really useful they the guys will radio in to tell you what's happening tell you if they're like getting hit or taking fire that sort of thing and then you'll kind of get an idea based on that um got a piot here I'm gonna move these guys into a um place near a road I guess probably should have put them maybe over here that would be a good place to put the piot it's right over there In position. 
Uh, told me I was in position. They were in position when they moved. Got three. Got so many mortars. Got so many mortars. You know, I'm just gonna move these guys up here. This mortar up here, just to capture that point up there, since there's just some random point up there. Um, I'm gonna move these guys to the distillery. This Brennan section, machine gun Brennan, I think, the distillery right over here. Um, okay, these guys got here. This Brennan section got here. Nope. Okay, so so now firing's actually happening. See, that's the audio cues queuing me in. Now I have to figure out where that where that firefight is happening, where that is coming from. Because if I can tell, then I can probably put some mortar fire on them to pin them down. But I don't know. I don't know where that is coming from. And also, you can see the status of all your sections right here. Ambushing, ambushing, moving fast, moving fast, that sort of thing. So that taking fire will be one of them. So if someone's taking fire, defending. Maybe there's something happening here. Oh, yep, they're taking uh, mortar fire. So get these guys moving out of here. Get these guys moving this way. Oh, God. Okay, so one of them got killed already. Now I have to figure out where... Okay, so I can see some guys now. So let's take a mortar. Fire. Let's try to hit these guys, these tanks, while I... Can. Got to remember where all my mortars are. <laughs> okay, there's enemies coming right up here. Oh, they killed these guys right here. Or no, or no, I killed them. That's the enemy right there. I killed them. Okay, let's see what happens to these these guys up here because looks like we might be able to take them out here looks like these guys that got to this building the distillery my guys I sent to the distillery already took out some Germans right here this is a some sort of oh god See if I can get this mortar to fire in this direction. Okay, so it looks like I captured this area, but they're also pinned down badly. Let's see what else is happening over here. Oh yeah, this uh, this tank is just fucking obliterating these guys here. I'm gonna move this tank over here. I'm gonna move this Piot out over here because they're taking mortar fire like crazy here, so that might not be good for them. Let's see if they can hide over here in the bushes or behind this hedge here. So cover really matters, uh, terrain height really matters, that sort of stuff. Okay, that looks good. Oh god, they're firing on them. Yeah, definitely. Okay, we're gonna see if we can move these guys down here. These, we're going to get more aggressive here. These guys are really pinned down. I'm talking about these guys right here, they're, the Germans are all grouped together here and it looks like we're obliterating them right here, which is nice. 
Um, looks like we took care of these guys. This, this needs to be fucking taken care of. We need to destroy this thing. This thing can really wreak havoc on, on, uh, Yeah, okay, so I gotta have my tank try to take this guy out here. I gotta read about what the significance of Platoon HQ is, actually. I gotta read about that. But let's uh, get Platoon HQ. Let's try to use them. Let's try to get them going over to this point right over here. It's a two-story building that's also a capture point. Oh god. Yeah, good. The tank took out that guy. Good. Okay, so now we're gonna move fast up here. We're going to try to see if we can get this mortar to attack this guy here. Okay, so I'm going to have this tank just try to get right over this hedge here. Just go right there, and we're gonna take this guy out. We gotta take these guys out. They're gonna, they're, this thing is gonna wreak havoc on my guys over here if he isn't already. Okay, he's out of range. So got my tank coming up here. It's gonna sneak up behind this asshole. I got my mortars. Oh, oh, did we just take that guy out with the mortar? Looks like we might have hit him. Oh, no, we didn't. Okay. That is dangerous. That thing can take out my tank. That's dangerous and scary. Can't wait until we can take that guy out. Oh, did we get him yet? Looks like we almost hit him again. Okay. Looks like this tank might be able to This guy, we're gonna we're gonna get this guy. I think. Looks like we got some some rending ger Germans. Oh look, it's got a flamethrower on it. Oh, wow. My tank just like torched some guy. So then this is a surrendering unit right here. So this German right here is surrendering. Looks like the rest of his platoon or whatever is dead. So, But then there's other guys here that aren't surrendering. That's a Grenadier. That's probably going to blow up my tank in just a second here. Although it looks like my tank might be out of gas or something. It can't move. So maybe it was damaged to the point of... Okay, I think I might... Oh, got him. Okay, this guy got him. All right, so now we can uh, move. It might be out of fuel. My tank might be out of fuel is what's happening here. I'm not sure. Okay, 
Okay, but it looks like I've lost a lot of guys too here. Where is this guy? Okay, let's let's get these guys going. Oh god, there's another one. guys over these are just gonna defend we're just gonna defend here it's like it's like there's a ton of Germans right here enemies offered a ceasefire okay well Looks like we might be at the end of this. Uh, they're seeking cover. Here, let's move these guys fast down here. Um, who else do we have that's still... Okay, what are these guys doing? Oh, these guys are doing something. Gotta move these guys here. Mortars, 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 mortars. What is this? Platoon HQ, okay, move fast. Okay, it looks like I won. Map control, allies captured two. Additional levels, allied major victory. Yeah, okay, so yeah, we got it because we captured most of the map and they were pretty much done for. Okay, cool. So, and then exit. Let's see if that worked at all.